This stress of a readathon is really getting to me this week. There are so many good books. Send help. Where did Sunday go? Hi kittens and welcome back to another weekly reading vlog. I'm Kat, this is the place where I talk all about books and writing, and this week it is the Witchathon. So it's actually Saturday. I know I normally start my vlogs on a Sunday, but since I didn't do one last week, I figured why not start it on the same day as the Readathon? As you might remember from my TBR, I will be reading three books this week. They are The Number One Ladies Detective Club, A Curse So Dark and Lonely, Nevermore. I think I'm going to start with A Curse So Dark and Lonely, uh, just because it seems like it. I've put a bookmark in it so I'm ready and raring to go, and I'm going to sit outside and soak up some of the sun's rays before they disappear and get started with this one. Also this is Mischief. She's my familiar for the newts, so I'm just getting her used to the bookshelf. So it is now Monday, it is uh, approximately 4.30pm. Where did Sunday go, you ask yourselves? I often find myself asking myself the same question. Where did Sunday go? Those 48 hours of blissful time between one job and the next. Let me tell you something though, this stress of a readathon is really getting to me this week and I don't even know why because this is a really chill readathon. And I've already finished one book. I read Bridget Kemmerer's uh, A Curse So Dark and Lonely yesterday and the day before and I absolutely loved it. I thought the writing style was really engaging. I'd give this a 4 stars, maybe a 4.5 because it was definitely a page turner. I was definitely engaged in the plot but I felt the plot itself was a bit weak. I love the characters um, but I felt like a lot of things were a bit too coincidentally. But yes, I really enjoyed this book. I would definitely recommend it. I thought it was great. So why have I got this big ball of anxiety inside me and when will it stop? I only have two books left that I have to read before Saturday, so it's fine, right guys? It's fine. It's not fine. So today I picked up the number one Ladies Detective Agency by Alexander McCall Smith. Alexander McCall Smith writes a lot of detective novels in different cultures, including a Nordic one that's recently come out, Africa, which is this one, uh, I think England as well, and there's one more that I've completely forgotten, so I'm just going to look it up in the front of this. Scotland, apparently. I'm actually really enjoying it, there's a lot about Africa, and I don't know obviously how much truth there is to it, considering it was not written by an African woman who runs a detective agency, but you know what, it's been a really good read so far, I am enjoying it, so I am on page. 63 and I'm hoping to reach page 124 before the end of the day. Actually, I'll tell you something, I should have filmed while I was reading this because I was reading on a dining room chair in the kitchen because it is the only room in this entire house that has direct light. All of the rest of them have these kind of like, I don't know, haze light bulb cover things that make everything really dark and horrible. So I'm going to buy a desk lamp so I can read at my desk, but until that time I was banished to the kitchen to read this one. I decided to do a cross stitch to commemorate the readathon, this readathon, and to see if I can try and finish it before the end of the readathon. I'm starting to think that that might be crazy talk because it is taking me so long. But I'm doing a witch just here. This is her hat. This is her cauldron, and then she's leaning over the cauldron and stirring it. And I thought it's all in black on the free pattern, but I thought I would add some green French knots for the bubbles rising up from the cauldron, so we'll see how it goes, and then I obviously want to write which please, somewhere around here, and then maybe gift it to a friend, or attach it somewhere in my house for Halloween, I don't know, but yes, that is my plan, and I have um, also got a design in mind for the newts as well, I'm really excited about the newts one, it's a lot smaller, this one is huge, but it is only one colour, so you'd feel like it would go fast. And that is my update for today. It also, oh, I ran, went for a run up this morning and it bucketed it down. As soon as I left the house, it was sunny, but it was raining, of course, because why wouldn't it be raining when I go out for a run? But I did go for a run and then I went to town and then I fell over because it was wet inside their building and I fell and I think I've done something to my ankle because I can't really put weight on it, which is why I'm something like this. <laughs> it's fine. It's all fine. So we are heading out to the library to donate some of those books I told you about. This one, this one, this one, this one, and this one are all going to the library. These two d were gifts from what Victoria read, but I've read them and I enjoyed them, so they're going. I am having such problems deciding which ones to take home. <laughs> look at them. They look so good. I was thinking about maybe reading this one for the reading rush, and then, but then, because it's purple on the cover, right? And this is also purple on the cover, but I mean, there are so many good books. Send help. It is now a Wednesday and I didn't read anything yesterday at all. I made zero progress, so I'm going to sit here on the couch and I'm going to finish the number one ladies detective agency with my cup of tea and that's the plan. I don't, I don't know. It's a bit of a plan, but it's a plan. Oh, I should show you the witch. She's so much more witchy. 
So this is where the cauldron will go, and obviously then I just need to fill in these lines. This is her nose and her chin. Ah! She's using up so much of my black thread though, I need to go and buy some more. But yes, tea, too hot to drink, book, let's do this. If you've got a problem and no one else can help you, then pay a visit to Precious Ramotswe, Botswana's only and finest female detective and proud proprietor of the number one ladies detective agency. Her methods may not be conventional, but she's got warmth, wit, and canny intuition on her side. Not to mention Mr. J.L.B. Matikoni, the charming owner of Tlokweng Road Speedy Motors. She's going to need them all as she sets out on a trail that will lead her into many sticky situations and more than a little danger in this first novel in Alexander McCall Smith's much-loved series. Reader, I finished her. This was a reread for me. I have read this before um, when I was younger and I remembered some of the stories and it was just kind of like returning to an old classic. It was beautiful. I love uh, Alexander McCall Smith's writing style. Fun fact, this isn't his middle name. McCall Smith is just his surname. But yes, I really enjoyed this. I thought it was really well written. I love the character of Precious Ramotswe. Ramotswe, yes. Precious from Otsway, she's just so clever and she very rarely gets outplayed, but when she does, she admits it and she's just a wonderful person. So very proud of Africa and yeah, I enjoyed this book, would recommend. It's almost like a series of short stories involving the same characters and there is kind of an overarching plot, but not really. So yeah, I thought this was really good. If you haven't read it yet, I recommend. But you probably have because it's been out for like years and years and years and years and years. That is two books down. So tomorrow I'm going to start Nevermore, The Trials of Morgan Crow. I'm hoping this is a fast read because obviously I need to finish it by Friday, which means I need to read it tomorrow and the day after. So this has a bird on the cover, so it will be perfect for uh, that newt. Care of Magical Creatures A. Oh, outstanding. Outstanding, is it? Is that the last one? Anyway, this has a bird on the cover. For those of you who have not yet chosen your newt, bird on the cover. So I'm actually pretty impressed by how far along my witch has come. She has only this little bit to go, and then obviously there will be a cauldron here, but I'm really impressed. I thought it would take me a lot longer than a week to do it, so yay! So it is Thursday morning, I am here. Last night, after I filmed my update for you guys, I got hit with like a horse kick in the head of a migraine. It was awful. So I took some painkillers and tried to have a nap, and when the pain got so bad that I couldn't actually sleep, I decided to pick up a book. Of course. I picked up Nevermore and I think I've read around 60 pages. Uh, I picked up Nevermore and read around 60 pages. I am loving the charm of this book, especially the new person who's just arrived, Mr. North. I just think it's a wonderful little story of discovery and I'm looking forward to reading more. My goals for today is to read about half the book, but I have a lot of writing to get done, so we will see. And yeah, I just, I love this book. It's so cute. So it is the end of Thursday and I'm not yet halfway through Nevermore. However, I am really enjoying it. Cody recommends this book as whimsical and I definitely get that feeling. I am loving the characters. I am loving the like, little land and the way that the magic works isn't really explained yet, but I love it. And yeah, I'm just, I'm just really enjoying it. So I am on page 150 of pay about 400 pages. So I've got some reading to do to catch up, but this is my goal for the day. Uh, but I'm, I'm just really enjoying it. I think the characters are wonderful. The, like I said, the kind of like just the way everything works together is just beautiful. And I definitely recommend picking this up if you haven't already. So Nevermore is a middle grade about a young girl who is cursed and destined to die on the eve of her 11th birthday. Instead of dying, however, she is whisked away by a mysterious man who can protect her from the curse. Uh, but in exchange, she has to pass some trials using magic that she doesn't have. So that's the premise behind this book. I am loving it. I'm definitely going to have to get the next one, assuming that this, you know, the last half of the book isn't like massively disappointing. And I just really love it.
Hello my friends, it is Saturday the 20th which means it is the end of the Witchathon. So I thought this morning I would start off with some light sewing. So this design I got for free, it's called the faulty, no, the leaky cauldron. And I actually managed to finish it. So I added, the design was just the woman and the cauldron, so it was all in black. And then I added some little bubbles and the saying which plays underneath. I am so proud of it. The little bubbles are actually uh, French knots, so they are textured little balls above the fabric so you can touch them. And I just, I really love it. I think it's so cute. I actually finished Nevermore yesterday. What a delightful tale. I am completely in love with Moggs, the main character Morrigan. It's just so delightful and I'm definitely going to be picking up the next one in the series. I felt like I had been transported to Wonderland and it was just so quaint and wonderful. And in honour of Cody, it was whimsical. For Witchathon, I managed to read three books. They were all owned. They were A Curse So Dark and Lonely by Bridget Kemmerer, The Number One Ladies Detective Agency by Alexander McCall Smith, and finally, The Trials of Morrigan Crow by Jessica Townsend. And I really enjoyed all three. This was actually a really good reading week for me. Uh, Curse So Dark and Lonely was a really well-told romance and I gave it a 3.5 or 4 stars. The Number One Ladies Detective Agency was a series of short stories centering around Precious Mam Rambozi, oh god, Rambotswe, can't remember. Centering around Precious, our detective, the first lady detective in the state, and about her love of Africa and all of the crimes that she is solving. And finally we had Nevermore, The Trials of Morrigan Crow. Morrigan Crow is destined to die on the eve of her 12th birthday, but on instead of dying she is whisked away by a young man uh, who sees something special in her and saves her from the jaws of death. However, in order to stay safe from the jaws of death, she must compete some trials using magical talents that she doesn't have. I had an absolute blast. I thoroughly recommend any of these books, particularly The Trials of Morrigan Crow, and I hope that you guys also enjoyed Witchathon if you are taking part. So, since the reading rush doesn't begin until the 22nd, I will see you on Monday. I hope you guys had an amazing reading week with me. Uh, if you did, shoot me a like down below with a paintball, pew pew, and hit that subscribe button to see me next week as we tackle the reading rush. I mean, that's all of these books. I mean, send help. I hope you guys have a great cup of tea and an amazing book to fall into, and I will see you next week. Bye kittens. Which please.